When we have two organic compounds involved in a reaction, we want to be able to predict the product of this acid-base reaction. The general rule of thumb we'll use is that when two reactants are involved in an acid-base reaction, the reactant with the smaller pKa, or the one that's more acidic, will donate a hydrogen ion to the reactant with a larger pKa, or the one that is more basic. In this reaction, you have acetic acid with a pKa of about 4 and methylamine with a pKa of about 40. When we look at these two compounds, since the acetic acid has a much smaller pKa, this compound will act as the acid. The hydrogen that is attached to the oxygen will be donated to the nitrogen lone pair of the methylamine. We can draw the curved arrows to show that the electron bonding pair between the hydrogen and oxygen and acetic acid will be donated to the oxygen to produce the acetate ion with an overall negative charge. That hydrogen will form a bond with a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen from methylamine and so we'll end up with a methyl ammonium cation. When we have acid-base reactions involving organic reactants and products, it will often be the case that the forward and reverse reactions exist in equilibrium. Because of this, we'll want to predict the direction of the acid-base equilibrium reaction position. The rule of thumb we'll use is that the equilibrium favors the formation of the weaker acid. In this reaction, we have ethanol reacting with methylamine to produce the ethoxide ion and the methyl ammonium cation. When we compare the pKa's of the two acids, ethanol and methyl ammonium cation, we see that the ethanol has a pKa of about 15 whereas the methyl ammonium cation has a pKa of about 11. Therefore, the methyl ammonium cation is stronger and the ethanol compound is the weaker of the two acids. Therefore, based on our rule of thumb, the equilibrium will favor the formation of the ethanol. This means that instead of using the approximately equal equilibrium arrows, we could instead indicate that the forward reaction takes place only to a small extent, while the reverse reaction takes place to a much greater extent.